Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It's KFC Uerdingen and they take on SV Meppen. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. The line-up then for the hosts. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Pretty well balanced, this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And now they get the ball rolling. Barry. Well, sometimes there's no great mystery in terms of a team's preferred style, and the visitors do like to press high. It's very much their game. Lee, would you expect to see more of that? Yeah, I think it's their preferred option for sure. It'll be interesting to see how high and how long they press for in this game. It's a really physical way of playing. That tactic suits them, but can they do it for all of the game? Barry. Osawe now. Getting forward. It needs an accurate cross. Well, the cross that time completely overcooked. Dangerous looking attack. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. He's enjoying space. And teammates to play it to. It's opening up for them. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Barry. Just not looking confident in possession. Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Conrad.
And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. And very deftly cut out. Conrad. A sloppy pass. Throw-ins given. Conrad. And the attack promising as it was. Scuppered there. Amin. He's protecting it well. And scope for them to produce something exciting. A bit sloppy in possession. A chance to whip it in. And well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. It comes to absolutely nothing. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. And now they get the ball rolling. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. He's given it away. Conrad still passing it around with authority he has time to play it over he's outplayed and outforced competent goalkeeping yeah right place at the right time foils the attacker well Derek neither side has done enough in this game there's a lack of quality all round it really has been a poor game but there's still time left. Can somebody be the hero? Magnificent challenge to win it back. Conrad. Barry. Is it going to end up being productive for them? He has been deemed to be offside. Not by much, Lee. Brilliant, brilliant officiating, that is. Look at that. Spot on. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Barry. Conrad. Pure ball control. Opportunity to take the lead. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game. The sudden one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, I love to see goals like this. Just look, one and two touches. As they get close down, they move the ball on really quickly. It's a team goal in the end. A brilliant, brilliant effort. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. 
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. So, 20 minutes to go. Failed to keep hold of it. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Conrad. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Rodriguez. Just 10 minutes to go. Well, just listen to the atmosphere, Derek. It's been such a tight game, but can they see this out now? The fans are certainly doing their bit. Oh, he really... And he scored that once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, let's have a look at that replay. As a defender, or all the defenders in the box, you've got to be a pessimist. You've got to expect something bad to happen. It's back off the keeper, and now it's in the back of the net. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. It's going their way, 2-0. Given away. He can, and he's made headway. Amin. Read it magnificently and intercepted. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Can they get in behind them? The delivery towards the back post. And there it is, the final whistle. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.